Hello everyone, it's Stephanie Manley, and guess what? I'm still a fountain pen freak. I haven't made videos in a little bit. Um, so I thought, well, I actually really need to clean off my space here so I can make additional videos. So I wanted to talk to you about what I got at the Dallas Pen Show. Um, it was fantastic. I did get several pens. Um, I think this is all but one. And so I will show you my pens and then the ink. So right here, a great amount of pens here. Uh, so let's see, talk about the pens a little bit. All right, so my first pen, it comes from Russia. It's called the Bennu or Binu. I bought this from Van Ness. Um, not a lot of people carry these. Van Ness carries these. Um, trying to think who else uh, Goulet carries these online as well really I think they're a really nice kind of inexpensive pen these run about a hundred dollars uh, I got this in a medium nib and it is a converter now all of these pens I've just recently I need to clean these um, so I have used these uh, I think that this nib could use a, a little bit of um, polishing it ha it's a little it's a little bit toothy for me I like something to be very buttery smooth I believe this is about I think this is a five uh, what is it uh, number five um, a really nice pen it's a good writer uh, I think it's a little bit off that may be why yeah it feels a little bit off right in here so when I clean this I will adjust this a bit uh, it doesn't feel like the feed is exactly right looking at this now um, it's a little bit off so I was having some hard starts with it but definitely a gorgeous gorgeous pen a friend of mine got the lovely gold fleck pen it looks like a disco event from the uh, 1970s but this is the one that I got I love the color I love the shape um, nice pen. It's going to take a little bit of refinement to make me love this pen, but it's a good pen. Let's see. I uh, got a Franklin Kristoff pen, and you can tell I already went through it. I think this is their antique glass pen. This, I believe, I got. Um, it's a number six, and um, this is no... Okay, this pen I got from Franklin Kristoff. This is the Model 66. I believe this is in their antique glass. Um, I kind of think of it as Coca-Cola glass. And I believe I got this one with an italic nib. I did, and they polished it on the spot for me to make it a little extra smooth. I love buying pens at um, Franklin Kristoff because, you know, not only do they do extensive quality control, on their pens they always work great but when you sit down and you buy your pen from Franklin Kristoff they'll make adjustments for you so great pen um, this is just a steel nib I believe it's a Mike Matsuyama nib I did pay a little bit extra for that and then I asked them to make it a little smoother so again this is the Franklin Kristoff model 66 so I think I actually got uh, four pens this pen was actually my one that I bought in New Orleans not too long ago, so did not buy that at this show. Um, I will have to show you my other one. This one, I think, is um, Fountain Pen Revolution. I just bought this one because the funky colors. Um, very inexpensive pen. I don't think I paid $35 for this pen, but just loved the colors right here. This is also a cartridge converter. Has a lot of off-gassing still um, in the material but you know what it's not every day that you can get a pen that reminds you of reminds me of the electric company so I really like that and finally my last big purchase at this pen show was um, the Visconti Homo Sapien Bronze Age a friend of mine picked one up and I just put it in my hand um, Honestly, I've been looking at this pen for a couple of years, and when I actually wrote with the lovely soft nib, I knew it would be mine. Um, this has a fine nib, 
but it writes like a medium size nib and it works great. And I buy a lot of stuff online, but I gotta tell you, when I'm buying a pen and the price point goes up, I wanna do it in person. Um, so you can test it out and make sure you like it. Cause I know it was it last year, Visconti had a lot of problems with their nibs. So did not, um, I did not wanna buy one online. And luckily I know they sell them um, at Tronkles in town, but ironically I drove it all the way up to Dallas to buy a pen from Tronkles in Dallas. Yeah, okay. So I um, really like this pen. It's got this nice locking mechanism. Um, so it's not gonna come off. Just the love the way this uh, basalt feels. It feels really, really nice. Probably, definitely gonna become one of my everyday favorites. So, all right, enough about the pens. I didn't go too, well, I went too crazy on the pens. Okay, so then comes the ink. And so let me see how I can do the ink here. I've got swatches and the bottles. Okay, so the first thing I bought was the um, Ackerman Dutch Master Vermeer color. Um, love these bottles. If you have never seen these bottles before, you tilt them and then the top part fills with ink like this and then you just dip your pen in the top right here and fill. So I love these inks. These inks clean up beautifully. Um, the colors are just radiant and fantastic. So this is kind of a muted blue color, but I love this blue. So generally whenever I go to a pen show or what have you, if they have Ackerman ink, I will definitely go grab um, some Ackerman ink. Okay, all right, that one's back in the box. The other thing I hate about Ackerman ink bottles, they're so tall, they're so tall. So the next thing I got was the Colorverse Morning Star. I need to knock it off with this color. I get up, I get too many colors like this. This is just a little bottle. Um, sure, everyone knows Colorverse comes in. Um, really nice packaging. You know, you get goodies, you get stickers, you get a napkin to wipe off your nib. Um, all kinds of goodies. And it comes in, now this, this Colorverse ink comes in a package and they're both the same and it's Morning Star. Um, I really like Colorverse's colors. I will say that I feel like their ink is very, very wet for me personally. So if you have a really juicy nib, you might wanna think twice um, because it just goes everywhere. It's just very wet, wet ink. So, and it takes a little bit to dry. It doesn't have the quickest drying time. Um, it's my only drawback with that. Okay, now we're gonna get in probably my favorite ink ever is, is the brand Noodlers. Now this is the Legal Lapis. Uh, this is, this only one vendor carries this and I can't think of what their name is. You can look it up, uh, but this ink is water resistant. Um, it's it's a document archival quality ink, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, I believe they said it would darken up a little bit with age, but um, you know what, it's kind of a nice archival ink that um, isn't black um, or straight up blue. It's kind of um, a blue-black ink. So very nice, looking forward to using um, an ink that's water resistant and archive quality, just because um, Sometimes I need something a little bit more. Now this is a gorgeous color. I did not pick this up uh, last year when I was at the um, Arkansas Pen Show. So I had to ask um, Lisa Van Ness what it was and it was grapefruit. It was KYZ grapefruit. This is a great fall color. Um, I've used their ink before. I have um, Gumberry and another ink and it's great well-behaving ink. Comes in a 60 ml bottle though, so you're gonna get a lot of it. Great uh, ink, and right. Now we'll go back to Noodler's because goodness knows I love Noodler's ink. Now this is Noodler's Hunter. Now this is cardstock and this is Tomoe River paper. I like to swatch in both. 
um, while swatching doesn't give you an idea of how the ink is going to perform, it gives you a good idea of what the color is going to be. So this is Hunter. It comes in a small bottle. Um, it's eternal ink and it reflects light sources. UV light proof. Um, resist the tools of the forge. Er. Um, so, and this is a bulletproof ink. So this is a gorgeous green bulletproof ink. That seems to be a thing for me lately is getting inks that are more bulletproof um, and something that's gonna last a little bit longer. All right, I, I spill things on my notebooks all the time at work. So another gorgeous fall color is Noodler's Cayenne. Great color here. Uh, they are always sold in three ounce bottles and usually the price is about $12.50. So gorgeous color, it's gonna be great for fall. So I'm looking forward to using this. Let's see, we have USS Texas, another Noodlers. And um, I guess that is my card, there we go. There's the other one. This is kind of a gray, blue, green color. So really nice color here as well. Um, this ink performs very well. I've used this um, already. So I really like this color. I don't find that I hate too many colors. Okay, and finally, the last bottle of ink that I got here was the Texas Navy. Um, this was exclusive to the pen show. Um, you could, this ink came from Tronco's. They just gave it out for free. Um, so gorgeous kind of a bluish purple color. Um, fantastic. So again, this, this color was exclusive to the show. Um, trying to think what else. I think I got this pen. This, well, I didn't get... Nope, this pen didn't come from there either. This pen came from New Orleans. All right, so there you go. There's uh, a bunch of my ink you can see. USS Texas, Navy, some Cayenne, Illegal Lapis, uh, the KWC, the Hunter, the Colorverse, and I also got some pens here. Uh, this was just a fun pen from Pen Revolution. Very inexpensive, um, it writes well, um, you know, it's, I don't know, 27 or $37. So great pen there. This one with the Binu was the, the Russian pen. I got it from Van S. I think Goulet also sells these, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of overlap between the models. So be sure to check everyone out for which one you want. I think it writes well, but there seems to be a little bit of quality issues nothing and they can't be fixed quickly and easily so there great another great addition from the great folks at uh, franklin christoph i believe this is the antique glass it reminds me of a coke bottle like the old coke bottles um i believe this is a metallic nib so this pen was a lot of fun to write with so i really like their pens i think that they're the best value that you get for a higher quality pen. Um, and finally, I got uh, this uh, Visconti Hope of Sapien Bronze Age pen, which I also just adore. So that really concludes everything that I got from the Dallas Pen Show. So it was a great show. Um, I definitely look forward to going back next year, but I guess this is it for it. Um, so you guys, thanks so much for watching, and I know we'll chat again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.